share with you a general tapping exercise that you can use for just a variety of emotions. It's really helpful to be as specific as possible with our tapping, um, not only with what we're concentrating on, but also with the tapping we're using. But it can be really difficult to keep up with all sorts of different tapping algorithms for all sorts of different emotions. So this general tapping algorithm is one that you can just kind of memorize and have in your back pocket. Um, so anytime that you have an intense negative emotion, um, you can pull this out, you can tap through it. Um, so on the little worksheet, there's a line across the top here that has the different points that you're going to be tapping on. And then down here at the bottom, these are the points, but I'm going to show you as well. So the first point, um, TH, is top of head, and then EB is eyebrow. I'm just tapping lightly three to five times. And then T is for the temples, E is for right here under the eye. UN is under the nose, CH is chin, CB is collarbone, A is under the arms, and then TW20 plus B. TW stands for the triple warmer point that's here on the back of your right hand between pinky and ring finger. There's a little groove there. 20 means that you're going to do 20 sets, and B stands for bilateral brain stimulation. So TW plus B. And the way that we're going to do bilateral brain stimulation, in the video I'm going to move my hand back and forth for you to follow my fingers with your eyes, but you can't do the video just all the time. Um, so when you're out in life and you're doing tapping, some great ways to do bilateral brain stimulation are to tap your feet back and forth, um, to walk around while you're tapping, um, or if you're in a room where you can see the two points um, of a room, two corners, you can look back and forth on your own. Or if you have some EMDR music that's been specially panned back and forth, you can listen to that with headphones while you do the tapping. The idea here is that just whatever you do, you're creating cross-hemisphere stimulation in your brain. Um, so that's why even just walking around, you're moving your legs back and forth. It's creating that bilateral brain stimulation. So the 20 refers to 20 sets. So as I'm moving my fingers back and forth, I'm gonna do it 20 times. When you're tapping just by yourself, it's a little harder to keep count to 20 while also trying to focus on the emotion that you're clearing. So what I recommend instead is to just kind of have that internal sense of when about 30 seconds has passed. So if you're looking just back and forth in the room on your own, you just look back and forth as you tap, and then you just have that sense after a second or so, okay, yeah, that feels about 30 seconds, and then you know you're done. Um, after you've done the TW plus B, you're going to come here and you're going to hit the side of your hand, and that's just a really great way to just tell your body, mind, and spirit, all right, everybody, we're done. We're wrapping up with this. We're going to call this done. So the first time you go through a captive thought therapy exercise, you're going to focus on the negative emotion that you're clearing out. So whatever that is, um, you're going to think on a scale of 1 to 10, how intensely are you feeling that emotion right now? And once you have that number, you're going to tap through the exercise and then you're going to check back in with yourself again. Um, so like, let's say you're feeling a lot of fear right now in this moment. So you think about how strongly you're feeling the fear and you realize, mm, I'm at an 8. So you'll tap through and then you'll check back in with yourself and maybe now it's down to a 5. So your, the idea is that you want to keep tapping on the negative emotion until you can get that number as low as possible, ideally down to a one or a zero. So whatever emotion it is that you want to work on clearing right now, just check in with yourself and see, okay, on a scale of one to 10, how intensely am I feeling that right now? So now that you have that number, you can follow along with me. We're going to tap through and then we'll check back in with that number. So top of head, Eyebrow, temple, eye, under the nose, chin, collarbone, arm, back of hand, keep tapping as you follow my fingers.
the side of the hand, either hand is fine. So now check back in with that emotion. What number was it when it started when you started? What number is it at now? If that number's all the way back down to a one or a zero, great. You can go on to the next round. Um, if not, tap through the exercise again while still focusing on the negative emotion and then check back in with your number again. You'll repeat that focused on the negative until you can get that number as low as possible. But if you're down to a one or a zero, you can go on to the next step. So the next step is instead of focusing on the negative emotion, we're gonna focus on filling in with the positive opposite. So if you are focused on fear, because that's what you're feeling, you might focus next on love and being filled up with just God's love that cast out all fear. So whatever that positive opposite emotion is, you're gonna think on that as we tap through those same points again. So thinking about your positive emotion, top of head, eyebrow, temple, eye, under the nose, chin, collarbone, arm, back of hand, keep tapping as you follow my fingers. The last time through, you're going to pick a verse to meditate on as you tap. And the idea here is that we want to just seal all of this up with truth, and scripture is one of our best sources of truth. Um, so ideally, pick a verse that really speaks specifically to the emotion that you're feeling, but I've put just a kind of a general verse that would work well for really just about any emotion that you're dealing with. So beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. 3 John 1, 2 in the NASB. So that's a really great verse to use no matter what emotion, but again, if there's a verse that you have that's more specific to what you're dealing with, that's great too. You want to read the verse first as just kind of a reminder to yourself, get it fresh in your mind, and then you want to pick a short reminder phrase that you can repeat as you tap. So for this verse, um, I might say, prosper and be in good health or as your soul prospers. But whatever phrase you use, you're gonna repeat it as you tap through this time. So, prosper and be in good health. 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 And tap the side. Again, either side of the hand is fine. So repeat this exercise as often as you have need. So if there's an emotion that you're really struggling with, you might do this exercise daily around that emotion. Um, as you tap through it too, you might realize there's different aspects of that emotion. So you might be feeling fear about one thing, but as you uncover that fear on that one thing, you realize there's other things you're fearful about, or there's roots that Holy Spirit wants to reveal about where that fear is coming from. So you might need to go through this a bunch of times around the same emotion, but it's going to be a little different each time, and that's totally fine. Um, ideally, too, you want to do these tapping exercises when you're actually feeling the emotion. So going through each step of the little exercise once a day is great, but if you can do the tapping while you're in moment with that distressing emotion, that's perfect. That's a really great time where everything, your body, mind, and spirit are all very aware of what that emotion feels like, where it's coming from, and how to get rid of it. So again, you can use this for any emotion, um, but it does help to be more specific with what you're thinking about and with the tapping itself. So in the links below, there's worksheets on my website where you can get 
bunches of different emotions, um, tapping exercises that are tailored to each emotion. Um, there's also a book that has 20 different emotions all together, um, so you can get those as a set that way as well. Um, but like I said, you can use this tapping just as it is. Um, this is similar to the EFT protocol. Um, and EFT uses just one algorithm for all of their tapping. Um, so you certainly can use this for just about everything, um, but being more specific um, with what you're thinking on and with the tapping itself is really great. So I hope you've enjoyed this exercise. I hope that it brings you just a lot of freedom and help as you take your thoughts captive and just in submission to Jesus and just experience the full freedom that he has for you.